All right, part seven of An Improviser's OS by Wayne Krantz, modes and uh, subsets. Uh, here we go. What are we gonna do in this video is uh, talk a lot about some uh, theory heavy stuff. You're gonna really appreciate all the work you put in so far with finding functions and uh, note names on the guitarnic. There is a great reward you get all the freedom you want with uh, free access to all the 2048 formulas. We're going to look at what uh, modes are and uh, what subgroups are. And then we're going to run through an example of both of those. So what are really modes? Modes always have the same number of functions as the formula from which they're derived and exist in only one combination from each uh, degree and every formula contains modes except the one formula and the number of modes equals the number of available notes so a two note formula has two modes a three note formula has three modes and so forth so what are the modes of a random formula like uh, 135 plus 7 well, mode from function 1 is just uh, the same. Starting from C, you get E, G, and B flat. And mode from function 2 is 1 flat 3, flat 5, flat 6. And then you start from E and go up. Mode from function 5 is 1 flat 3, 4, 6. There you start from G. And from function flat 7 is 1, 2, flat 5, 6. And as you see, it just starts from B flat. So a uh, quick quiz. Are these inversions or are they modes? Are they inversions of a chord? Are they modes of a scale? What do you think? What are subsets? Well, subsets are always smaller than the original formula and have multiple combinations from each degree and they are contained within other larger formulas. They are always in agreement with the parent formula. There is nothing new, different than the parent formula. And they have multiple combinations from each degree of that formula. And every formula contains subsets, except the one formula. And every formula is a subset of another larger formula, except the chromatic scale. So here's a little fun fact. Uh, the major pentatonic is actually a subset of the major scale. You see I just removed the uh, function 4 and function 7 and I ended up with a major pentatonic. That's pretty neat. Some of the subgroups are of course identical. They have the same pitches but their function functions are different. You could take the one three five from one and one four six from a five, and that's the same pitches, but functions are different. This could have uh, an impact on your playing. At least it has on how you organize your playing. The root has a critical role. Is that what we wanted to find? and uh, identify so they are like uh, these formulas or subset of formulas they're like a facet of a diamond as each small angle contributes to the unique character of the stone so each subset illuminates a different facet of the formulas tonality and then we'll uh, now we'll run through some subsets all subsets of 135 flat 7 the last uh, example so subset from function one you just start with the one note f form formulas uh, that's just one C and one three these are intervals and here is a major triad and here is the dominant seventh chord without the five and here's the dominant uh, seventh chord without the three and then you do the same thing from function three you define all the one note 
subgroups and then two nodes, intervals and then you end up with uh, seven different uh, subgroups from each degree so you get seven times uh, four which is uh, 28 I'm not gonna go through all of this uh, uh, in detail you could check it out for yourself you could you should at least learn to calculate subgroups it could take some time but uh, the effort is well worth it in my opinion so why do you do this well we can create new formulas from already existing ones meaning we don't have to practice a new thing all the time and you already know some of the formulas and they are subgroups of other formulas and you can put it into different settings when you practice you could create dissonance which we are gonna take a closer look at in chapter 9 so uh, yeah next video we'll uh, go through some practical examples and uh, thank you for watching